uh, term, we're going to start with chapter 9, because we finished chapter 8, uh, term 1. Now we're starting with vehicle transportation. Okay, now what's what's in it? What's in vehicle transportation? It has a, a, a section. Let me see if they have it here. Uh, yes, so there's, there's seven sections here. Uh, we're going to cover all of them. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the sticker price of a new car. We're going to be talking about uh, the cost of a dealer. This is a very interesting chapter, by the way. You're going to like it because it involves cars and buying and selling. Uh, buying a, 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 a car on a retail price or a wholesale price, will, you'll, you'll pay different prices if you buy it. Also, we're going to be talking about the annual premium okay, of the insurance. So probably this is something new for you guys. Maybe you don't know the, the technical things about it. Uh, and then we're going to be talking about the average cost of uh, running a car or having a car. Sorry. So uh, a car will cost you money. I mean, okay, you buy it for $20,000, but still you have a, a yearly uh, expense on it from insurance or gas or fixing or whatever. All those things, we're going to be doing the calculation for that. And then we get the last two sections are, are almost related. One section is about leasing a car and the other section about renting a car. So uh, the difference between leasing and renting, uh, leasing is when you uh, lease it for more than one year, let's say, for example. You could, you could lease it for uh, a month or, or, or five years or whatever. So, uh, but renting, usually rent, you rent a car for a week, you rent a car for a couple of days. You don't, there's different rules for that and there's different, uh, the cost will be different, by the way. So it depends on your intention when you, when you want a car, for example. Okay. So the first section here is going to be purchasing a new car. So the new car has zero mileage, for example, for example, okay. So uh, it has a, a different prices uh, on, on a car. There's a different price on, the, on every different model of a car. And when we go to section 9.2, we're talking about old cars. So there's the, the cost will be different also. So first of all, you see this as a sticker price on a car. You say base price. This is how the car starts with a 30,665, for example. And they, they say, you know what? For a five-speed uh, uh, automatic uh, transmission, that's the price. So you add, you keep adding uh, aluminum uh, wheels. Uh, also, you add interior upgrades, you add destination charge, you add. So you add those four numbers to this number. So it depends on, you know, uh, your base plus whatever you do. So now the final price of the sticker price here will be here. You notice here 30665 now, the final price that you're going to pay actually $33,460. So, we, unless you don't want the extras, unless you don't want, you don't, no, I mean, the destination charge you have to pay. Interior upgrades, if you don't want it, you could just say, I don't want it. You find another car that doesn't have it. Uh, you don't want aluminum wheels also. You don't want a five speed uh, automatic transmission. Okay. So, it's your choice if you don't want those. That's also our, our extras, right? So, and section two also deals with the dealer cost. Dealer's course also has uh, ideas how to gonna, you're going to be doing it, uh, how, gonna, how how is the dealer paying for it, and all that. So that's how it works, and then we'll go from there, purchasing a new vehicle, uh, a used vehicle, and there's uh, extra, extra cost. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.